Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bonaventure, a bishop and a doctor of the church. He lived in the 13th century, was an intellectual person, a member of the uh, orders of prior minors, meaning he was a Franciscan. Let us ask the intercession of St. Bonaventure that we may have the intellectual honesty to accept that God should always be number one in our lives. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob gave his sons this charge. Since I am about to be taken to my people, bury me with my fathers in the cave that lies in the field of Ephron the Hittite, the cave in the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre in the land of Canaan, the field that Abram brought from Ephron the Hittite for a burial ground. There Abram and his wife Sarah is buried, and so are his Isaac and his wife Rebekah. 
And there too, I buried Leah. The field and the cave in it that had been purchased from the Hittites. Now that their father was dead, Joseph's brother became fearful and thought, suppose Joseph has been nursing a grudge against us and now plans to pay us back in full for all the wrongdoings with him. So they approached Joseph and said, before your father died, he gave us these instructions. You shall say to Joseph, Jacob begs you to forgive the criminal wrongdoings of your brothers who treated you so cruelly. Please, therefore, forgive the crime that we, the servants of your father's God, committed. When they spoke these words to him, Joseph broke into tears. Then his brothers proceeded to fling themselves down before him and said, Let us be your slaves. But Joseph replied to them, Have no fear. Can I take the place of God? Even though you meant harm to me, God meant it for good to achieve his present end, the survival of many people. Therefore, have no fear. I will provide for you and for your children. By thus speaking kindly to them, he reassured them. Joseph remained in Egypt together with his father's family. He lived 110 years. He saw Ephraim's children to the third generation, and the children of Manasseh's son, Machir, were also born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die. God will surely take care of you and lead you out of this land to the land that he promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then putting the sons of Israel under oath, he continued, When God thus takes care of you, you must bring my bones up with you from this place. Joseph died at the age of 110. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke His name. Make known among the nations His deeds. Sing to Him. Sing His praise. Proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. You, descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Please stand. Teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Belzebul, how much more those of his household. Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hair of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our gospel this morning is just 10 verses from chapter 10, verses 24 to 33. But in this short gospel, three times, three times, the Lord said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. So, if you need a proof that God does not want us to be fearful, that Jesus forbids us to fear, this is one of them. One of them. Do not be afraid. You know, God does not want us to be afraid because God will be taking care of us. Sabi nga sa Ebanghelyo, eh yun nga mga ibun eh, inaalagaan ng Diyos eh. Kayo pa, kayo pa, tayo pa, na mas mahalaga kaysa sa mga ibon. Kaya huwag kayong matakot. But what should, what should we be afraid of? What we should be afraid of is losing God, which is the equivalent of hell. We must not lose God. Some people think that if they have everything, they will be happy. If they get this, they get that. They become like this, they become like that. They will be happy. But by experience, we know that you may have everything, but if you don't have God, you have nothing. Ulitin ko yun. You may have everything in life, but if you do not have God, you have nothing. You may be popular, but what is your popularity? What, what does it mean when you don't have God? You may be materially wealthy, 
But if you don't have God, what is the what is the purpose, the use of material wealth? That's why you see people who do not have much in life, but they have God, and you can see the smile in their faces. Nasa yuman ang lahat ng bagay. Kung wala sa iyo ang Diyos, wala ka pa rin. So, do not be afraid. That is the uh, uh, three times repeated in the gospel. But the other thing that God wants us to have is joy. Is joy. Which is sometimes the antithesis of fear. No? Pag tayo kasi natatakot, nag-aalala tayo, nagiging uh, bil, ano, uh, ano to, uh, nag-aatubili tayo, no? uh, aligaga, no? we worry so much. And because of that, we become sad. No? Parang may interconnection eh. Yung fear, nung fear yung baseless fear and sadness. In the responsorial sound today, the response was, Be glad, you lowly hearts. May your hearts be glad. Magalak ka. Magalak tayo. Now, kapag wala tayong pangamba, ang katumbas nun ay kapayapaan ng kalooban. At kapag may kapayapaan ng kalooban, ang bunga nun ay kaligayahan. God wants us to avoid fear and sadness. But we can only find that in the Lord. We can only find real joy in the Lord. And once we have found the Lord, there is no reason to be fearful. There is no reason to be sad. Kaya, hanapin natin una ang Diyos. Hanapin natin ang Diyos. Kasi kapag natagpuan na natin ang Diyos, ang lahat darating. Sabi nga eh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything will be given unto you. Seek ye first God and everything will be given to you. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together as a community to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, we now turn in prayer to God, our Eternal Father, conscious of His love for each one of us. To every petition, our response would, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father the bishops, and all who have been called to guide God's people may direct humankind to a knowledge of and belief in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be given the grace to face difficult situations with courage, knowing that the Lord is always at our side to give us strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people contemplating the call to be priests or religious may overcome their doubts, fears, and uncertainties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the disabled may experience the healing and comfort that only Christ can bring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may reap the reward of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions and for the intentions of those who offer in this Eucharist. Heavenly Father, we commit our cause to you. Give us the strength to follow you even in our trials and difficulties. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His holy Church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by Him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words and of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, including St. Bonaventure, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to welcome those who are coming from different places and uh, attended the Mass here this morning. Especially, I would like to welcome uh, the parishioners of Santa Rosa de Lima Parish in, uh, from Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija. No? Anong oras kayo umalis ng Santa Rosa? Four? Five? Mm, three? Oh, okay, do inaantok pa kayo. No? <laughs> so, welcome to the Manila Cathedral. Welcome to the Mother Church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, uh -huh. 